Hey everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So in today's episode, we're back on the caddy and the plan is obviously to strip off that head to take a look and see what's going on underneath whether that head gasket is split. But before we start off, I just wanted to have or say a quick thank you for everyone who commented last week. It really did mean a lot to see uh, what you feel about this, this channel. And, and it's just given me the motivation to continue going on and that is a reason to do so. So thank you for, for, for all your comments, your kind comments as well. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this um, car now to see what's happening with this head. I believe that the gasket has split in a couple of places and that's the reason why we're just getting that flood of oil. Well, at least that's one of my theories. If that's the case, then it would be prudent to just replace all of the gaskets, give the head a really good clean, because I think that would be better than buying an engine that you don't know what the condition of, because then we'll be able to literally just refresh that engine and, and, and make it better than what it's ever been for a long, a long while. But if we take the head off and the gasket looks okay, then we know that we've definitely got a warped head and we just need to replace that engine. And that's exactly what we will do. So the goal today is to get the head off, but I feel that we might have a little bit of a challenge with the injectors, because I heard that these injectors, to get them out of this caddy, this the K, the K engine, is a nightmare, but we'll find out. Let's crack on and see how we get on. Right, so the last week we were straight off the front of the vehicle and um, I said that we're just going to take the engine out and get a shot of it, get a new engine and then be done with it. However, I've had second thoughts. Now, if this engine is bad, trust me, I will be the first one to get rid of it. But I just think that we will be doing this van a disfavor if we didn't at least take the head off to see what the state of play is with the gasket. Because thinking about the oil and it's coming in and the fact that it's burning so much oil, suggests that it could be a blown head gasket in one of the oil channels and one of the water channels are blown and that's why it's ingested water and also that's the reason why we're burning oil like you know like it was going out of fashion and if that is the case then simply changing the head gasket could save us a whole heap of work in getting the um whole engine out so i'm at least going to be doing that we're going to take the head off in today's episode and we're going to take a look at the head gasket and see what the state of play is. if we can see no sign of wear and tear then at least with the head off it's going to make it lighter to get the um to get the rest of the block and the gearbox off because trust me these things are heavy all right so first we're going to what we're going to do we're going to strip off all of the air the um, air system so the um air filter system the intake system we're going to take it off as much as we can all this pipe work we're going to get rid of because we need to take it off anyway if we're going to change the engine so we might as well get it done now i've taken a whole lot of pictures so i know exactly where everything goes for when we come to the reassembly and it's just a case of methodically working our way through this so we're going to have a lot of time lapses and i'm sorry about that if you don't enjoy the time lapses but it's a necessary evil so let's start off we'll start off with the airbox take that apart then we'll take a look and see what we got then we'll work our way through all of the wiring all of the glow plugs etc we'll take all of those off and then we'll take off the um, inlet manifold and then we'll work on the head so that's the plan of action now, of course we've got to get these uh these lovely um, injectors out. And I want to check these as well to make sure that they are okay because I suspect that that also may have something to do. It may not, but while we got it apart, we'll check it all out. Anyway, let's get on with it.
Right, so we've stripped off all the uh, inlet um, manifold um, pipe work, etc. That's all done. We've just started to strip all the front here. We've taken off the fuel lines, one there and one there. We've moved those to one side. We're now going to work on taking the injectors air uh, ignition system. So we'll take off all of these lines here. We'll take off the glow plugs. That's what these color codes are. We've taken pictures. We've got a little cut on that one there. That will need repairing. Um, and then we'll slowly but surely take off these vacuum lines here. We'll move all of those out of the way. We're just literally undoing everything as we can. We'll go to the fuel regulator, the fuel rail there. We'll undo all that once we move all this out of the way. And then that should give us a clear run to the injectors, which will be very interesting. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we'll put on a little bit of time lapse as we get on and uh, take those apart. Okay, so we've got all the uh, injector connections and the glow plug, all the electrics, they're out of the way, which gives us a nice clear exposure to this bad boy, the fuel rail. If you remember, we replaced this because it was coming up with a fault. So we'll take this out now. Once we take the fuel rail out, we'll be able to take off these fuel pipes that connect to the injectors, which will free up the injectors. We'll take this away. Then we'll work on taking off the inlet manifold here. So everything is disconnected from here, as you can see. So we've got these uh, uh, bolts, 10 bolts holding it together, but we have to move the fuel rail first. So let's get all that done. Okay, fuel rail removed, and also our injectors uh, feeds. Now we can see much clearer the head. So, uh, so here, these are the bolts that we need to remove. So we remove those. That's then going to release our inlet manifold. Then we'll be able to get to these bolts here to take off the rocker cover, and then obviously work our way around to doing the uh, the belt as well, cam belt, which we're going to change. But before we do that, we're going to see if we can get these injectors out. Now I understand that these injectors can be a little bit challenging to get out so we see how we get on if we could just get them out that'd be great if not we'll have to get the special tool that's often touted to get this off let's continue Okay. 
right? In the manifold off. I've cleaned it up, although I don't know why I've cleaned it up because we may not keep it. But I did have a look down these valves here and these ones look all right. This one looks really oily. So I suspect this is our bad guy here, this one here. So uh, next we're gonna take off these injectors. We're gonna take a look and see the condition of those before we then get into the rocker cover and then be able to get to, actually we need to drop the um, cam bell first, don't we? But once we get that off, then we, mm, I think we should be close to get into the actual uh, head. I'm hoping this will be really simple that the turbo is not held down below by something. I can't see that when I took a preliminary look, but we'll find that soon enough. But first, let's get these injectors off and see how difficult they are. All right, so to get these injectors out, I'm gonna need some injector pulleys. That's one thing I don't have, actually. I can get them to move. They are actually moving, which is good. So they're not seized. Well, that one is a little bit. Yeah, I think that one might be. This one is definitely moving. Here we go, a little bit. But these two, they definitely do move. He's nice and loose and this one as well so they move so i'll get the pulley and then we'll pull those out then we can take a look at inside and see what's really going on in this engine then we'll just take off the cam belt i'll just take it off the cover to have a look at the actual belt the belt's not too bad to be fair it's in pretty okay condition but we're going to replace it all anyway so we'll strip it all out and get that uh, get that replaced and uh, we'll get it all lined up as well so uh, we're making some really good progress so let's just continue doing that Right, so after trying some time to get those injectors off, they ain't moving anywhere. Um, I'm gonna need to get some injector pulleys and I have ordered some, but they're not gonna be here for this episode, which is really frustrating because I just wanted to get that head off and make some progress. But we're gonna have to stop there because they are well and truly stuck. And let me show you the reason why I'm not gonna try and take them out. I mean, I could force them, but I'll show you why. So the biggest Achilles heel with this is the fact that you've got a plastic rocker cover and you've got nothing to leverage. Had this been metal, it would have been completely different. We would have been able to leverage against it. So um, the only way to do that is to take off the tops, the um, solenoid part of the uh, injectors, and then you attach uh, a piece on there and then you hammer it out. So um, for the risk of not damaging this rocker cover, and then and, and scrapping the um, top or having to, and, I, and then the injectors still be stuck in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the right tool to do this, which is incredibly frustrating because I did want to take the head off this episode. It just means that we have to push it back to next week. So I'm really sorry that we haven't been able to uh, achieve our objective today, but I really am determined to get this head off to see the state of uh, this engine because a diesel engine, as we all know, is a lot more stronger engine than a, a petrol engine. So if we just got a blown head gasket, and let's face it, the head gasket is the weakest part. If it's blown in a couple of areas, then we know that we're good to go to do a repair and we will replace all the gaskets, give the head a good old clean as well. And I think that that will be better than putting a replacement engine that we don't know the state of repair. I still have an engine lined up to come, but I just wanted to use this, this opportunity to take a look at and, and see if we can get this repaired. If the gasket is absolutely fine, then we know we've got a warped head and that is game over. We'll just replace it with a new engine. No messing there at all. So tune in next week when we will hopefully get this head off. In fact, I'm gonna be working on this during a week so that by the time we get to the next video, we've made some progress. A little, uh, a few alarm bells that I saw, these two bolts here, I've just cleaned up. One of them, the one that came in this hole here was absolutely saturated with oil. This one here wasn't. So something is going on in there that's not right. It could also just be the fact that we've got some oil coming through. Um, but again, we won't know until we get that head off. So it's really important that we get the head off. And then of course, the cam belt as well. We will replace that. That cam belt looks absolutely fine actually, but I'm gonna replace it because I promised that I would. So we'll replace it with the water pump and all the um, ancillaries to go with that. And then we're all good with that. All right, so 
that's where we are let's just have a very quick summary right so really frustrating i really did want you to make some fine progress this today and at least get that head off because then that would have given me the week to figure out what's going on so sorry we didn't get there really am um and i guess you're as frustrated as as i am but we will get there and i've ordered a tool i was just hoping it was going to come over the weekend and it hasn't which is really again incredibly frustrating right so we'll just have to crack on and as soon as it comes here, we'll get it. So I probably will be doing some work during the week. And in fact, I'm going to be taking some time off work just to really make some progress, some lead, have some headway with this van because I need to get this van completed and passed on to its new owner. So anyway, um, thank you for viewing this. If you are a casual viewer, please consider subscribing. It costs you nothing and it just helps the the old YouTube algorithm and push out this content to further to more people. So we'll continue next week and um, we will hope, no, the plan is to get that head off next week and take a look inside. I am really, I want to see what's going on underneath that engine and I'm sure you do too. So join us next week and we will see you on the next one.